International volunteering activities with neighbouring countries. International volunteering activities between programme and partner countries directly develop solidarity and promote active citizenship and mutual understanding among young people. It enables young people to carry out voluntary service for up to 12 months in a country other than their country of residence. It fosters solidarity among young people and is a true learning service. Beyond benefiting local communities, volunteers learn new skills and languages as well as discover other cultures. A wide geographical and cultural range of volunteering projects should be taken into consideration when developing international volunteering activities with program and partner countries. Before starting, you may want to deepen your understanding of international volunteering in a broader context. Thus, many aspects important in high-quality volunteering projects are also important in cooperation of organizations from program countries. To begin with sending, hosting or coordinating international volunteering activities, your organization will require accreditation. Organizations from program countries need to contact their national agency and follow its guidance to complete the accreditation process. For organizations based in partner countries, the accreditation is managed through SALTA Regional Resource Centers. Finding a good project partner is another key to the quality and success of international volunteering projects. Even though young people spend most of their volunteering time in the hosting community, the advantage of cooperation between sending and hosting partners should not be underestimated. In case of cooperation with partner countries, the role of the organization coming from a program country is often even more important, as quite regularly program country organizations apply for project funding to their national agencies. In such a situation, organizations from partner countries, even when they're hosting a volunteer and thus spending most of projects' budget, depend on the program country organization that acts as a coordinator and manages the grant. This raises the issue of mutual trust and transparent partnership. Moreover, it is very important that partners have technical knowledge how to create a proper agreement between organizations to be able to transfer funds to the organization in a country where the financial sector may be underdeveloped and organizations' bank accounts may be a tough topic. Some tips for you how to overcome possible barriers when implementing long-term volunteering activities with partner countries. Good partnership is very important and should be based on equal treatment and sound written agreements. Partnership is impossible without trust. The basis of trust is transparency and therefore organizations should understand the responsibilities and risks of their partners. Involved organizations should be open and transparent in how they manage and spend the grant, what kind of environment they're working in, which may create a need for special expenses and support. Regular communication and close cooperation are vital in solving problems and overcoming difficulties through cooperation and mutual support. Let's say your partnership works well, your volunteering project has received a grant, and the volunteer is getting ready to come to the hosting place. Now comes the practical preparation phase. All logistics related matters will get in motion, preparing accommodation and board for the volunteer and the mentor, preparing members of the hosting organization and raising awareness of the local community. This is a particularly important stage of the volunteering project for everyone who needs to deal with visa procedures and residence permits. Volunteers from partner countries will need a visa to almost all program countries. Volunteers from program countries may have a visa-free entrance to some of the partner countries. In many countries, obtaining a long-term residence permit may become a burden. Make sure you and your partners know these requirements and procedures. You will need to include extra costs related to getting a visa to the hosting country and legal residency after arrival. International volunteering creates an opportunity for young people to make their service in a foreign country while getting intercultural experience. This is a great opportunity, not only for the volunteer, but also for the hosting organization and local community. Direct contact with representatives of different cultures can create conflicts, but when well supported and facilitated, it becomes a learning opportunity. Very often, due to cultural differences and geopolitical issues, Intercultural experience gained during the volunteering period is even more intense in case of cooperation with partner countries. Everyday life and volunteering may put young people in very contrasting environments and realities compared to their home communities. This may spark confrontation of values and beliefs, 
The sending partner should well prepare a young person for a long term living abroad. Both sending and hosting organizations should provide quality mentoring and support for volunteers during their stay in the hosting country. In addition to this support, there is a regular cycle of training activities offered to young people. They are entitled to on arrival and midterm training activities that are carried out by regional SALTO support centers in partner countries and coordinating organizations in program countries.